Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this cool cap model in just 7 minutes using AI. Let's dive right in. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials here on weekly basis. And if that's your sort of thing please consider subscribing. Alright, before we get started, check this out, here's the final result. We've got two models in Maya, one is the original model, which is AI generated, and the other one's the clean read apologized mesh using Maya's Retopo tool. Now if I switch on wireframe mode, you'll really see the difference. I was honestly super impressed with how clean the edge flow turned out after re-apologizing the high poly mesh. What's crazy is, even the back of the model turned out pretty solid, and I only used a single front view image to generate the model using AI. So let's jump in and see how it all came together. I used a site called Tencent Hunyuan 3D to generate the model. Super cool stuff. You'll find the link down in the video description if you want to check it out. When you visit the website for the first time, it'll probably be in Chinese. But no worries, just hit the translate to English button right here and you're good to go. So this site gives you 20 free spawns every day to generate AI 3D models. As you can see here, I've got 13 left for today. That's just because I've been exploring around and checking things out earlier. Alright, so on the left side here, you can upload your image. And yup, you can select multiple images and upload images of front, rear, left, and right views. I haven't played around with that feature yet, so we'll skip it for now. I'm gonna go with the single image tab and upload the one I'll be using for this video. So, I've got this super cute cat image I grabbed from the internet. You can use any AI generated image if you want, but for now, I'm keeping it simple and going with this adorable one. Now you can either click this upload image button to browse from your system or simply just drag and drop your image right here. Super easy. Once your image is uploaded, just hit the generate it now and the magic begins. It usually takes around 7 minutes. As you can see, it's already processing the model and down here it shows the notification stating it will take around 7 minutes to generate the model. Now all you gotta do is sit back and wait. And the cool part is, it even generates textures for you. And boom, there it is. Our model's ready to go. You can now spin around and check it out from every angle. There are also some cool buttons here you can play with. This one does a turntable rotation. Perfect for a quick preview. This one shows the textured version. And here's the white mold view with just flat shading. Then you've got the albedo mode, which shows the texture without any lighting. And finally, the normal mode that highlights all the tiny surface details. Pretty neat, right? Alright, the model's ready to download. You can grab it in a bunch of different file formats. Just click this button and you'll see all the options available. Pick the one you need and hit download. You can even download an MP4 or GIF with the turntable rotation. Pretty cool, right? Since I'm gonna be using Maya, I'll go ahead and download it in FBX format. Once the download is done, we can jump right into Maya and import the model. And here it is, the AI generated model we just created. If you look in the outliner, you'll see it's all one single mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it with Ctrl D and hide one of them for now. Now if you take a look here, the topology is looking a bit messy. It's super dense and not really ideal for clean modeling or animation. Alright, to clean this up, let's select the model, head over to Mesh, and open the Read Apologize options. I'm gonna reset everything to default first. Then bump up the target face count to 100,000. I'll leave the rest as it is, and hit read apologize. Now just sit tight, 
it'll take a little time to process. And boom, it actually did a solid job re-apologizing the model. This looks way cleaner and way more polished. Now if I unhide the original mesh and line them up side by side, you can clearly see the difference. I'm honestly pretty impressed with the results. Sure it's not perfect for animation just yet, but we can always tweak and clean it up later if needed. This is honestly a great way to create a model super fast, but the one thing I'm not too happy with is how the textures turn out. Here's the original model and here's the re-apologized version. As you can see, the textures aren't showing up properly. That's because if we open the UV editor, you'll notice the UVs aren't unwrapped correctly. And of course, the re-apologized mesh doesn't have UVs yet, which is why it's showing up black. But the good news is, thanks to the clean edge flow, unwrapping UVs on this version is gonna be way easier. Alright guys, this is honestly a game changer for me. Creating a model like this from scratch in the traditional way would have easily taken hours. But with AI tools like this, you can get a solid base model in just minutes, which is a huge time saver. Of course, it's not perfect, the topology and UVs might need some cleanup, and the texture quality isn't always great. But if you're using it as a starting point or for concepting, it's super useful. Traditional modeling still gives you full control and better results for animation-ready assets. But AI can definitely speed up the workflow when you're in a crunch. Just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. I just found this tool super handy for saving time, and I thought it might help you too. The link to the website I used is down in the description if you want to check it out. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, it really helps me out. Feel free to leave a comment if you found it useful or if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. And of course, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get more tips and cool contents like this. Thanks for hanging out with me, and as always, stay safe and happy modeling.